What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and I'm extremely excited to bring to you or to present to you the topic of this week's advanced Revit course. So again, I'm going to be covering families in Revit and we're going to be creating this extremely versatile and cool uh, door family. So this is the door family. I know it looks like in any other door family, but it's far from that. So what we can do with this family, we can actually change and open up this door. So we have the swing angle option and we can just kind of open it up a little bit or we can completely open it up at 60 degrees just like that but that's not all not only have we created this uh, door that opens up but we've also created it with a nested door panel it's a, a lot more difficult to create a nested door panel but it allows you to create some cool stuff there so what that allows us to do is to change it to have this window over here and we can play around with that window we can spin it and make it a white family so there we go it's a very cool family where you can play around with all of these settings and you can adjust it to what you want to have so for creating that here this is the the panel that we've created and if we go into 3d this is what that looks like and you're probably thinking what this is. Well, this is one of those hosts because this is a phase-based family. So the panel was modeled as a phase-based uh, uh, element just because it needs to be hosted inside of that swinging, uh, swinging door family. And this is that family that we create. This is what it looks like in the floor plan. So it's ex an extremely versatile family. It, and we're going to be covering all of the tips and tricks for nesting families in Revit. So it's easy to just create a regular family in Revit, but here we have uh, a door family. Inside of that, we have nested this uh, this panel family, and inside of that, we have nested uh, this door handle family. If I open that up, this is what we have. That's that door handle family. So we've got three families nested in each other, and uh, it's, as I said, it's extremely versatile. We have a lot of parameters, so perhaps we can change the height of this window if we want, so I can change that to 1200, hit apply, and there we go, the window is all the way down. So we can play around, I'm just going to go back there. Okay, so we can play around with this family and it's uh, it's set up extremely versatile, so you can make any changes that you want, it won't break the family. And the most important part is, of course, this swinging parameter that makes our op uh, door open and shut. So let's change that, there we go. So as you can see, we've got that family. Okay, so if you want to check this out, I suggest you check out my Patreon, first link in the description. If you only want to get the project files for this, uh, you can, so that's a cheaper option. Or if you want to check out the complete one hour course, well, it's a bit longer than one hour, you can check that out. And that will not only give you access to all of my project files, and I've got like over 200 of them, maybe even more, 300, I don't even know. And But also it will give you access to all of my advanced Revit courses. This is the 12th one I have, so I have 12 already plus or 11 already plus this one and I'm making a new course each week so if you subscribe uh, at, on my patreon you will get access to each course every week a new one comes out and you'll be able to see that so I uh, suggest you check that out first link in the description so that's pretty much it for uh, this kind of a teaser uh, tutorial for our for my one hour uh, Revit course on advanced families in this case we're covering a swinging door and most of all the topic of this course is nesting families and all of the tips and tricks that come along with that okay so thank you for watching I will be coming back with another regular Balkan architect uh, Revit tutorial in in a couple of days but that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any uh, other tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice Nice day.